Come here now, girl. Uh, hello, guys. Uh, today, you know, there's, uh, there's a thing I gotta talk about, talk about yesterday, you know. Yesterday, I took one of my friend's bike with him. It's a brand new bike. He just bought a new Pulsar 220. Don't know why he bought a 220 Pulsar, but yeah, it's not a it's not a bad bike. Neither is it a great bike. For that kind of price, you could get a better bikes, uh, but still. So he doesn't have a driving license yet. So I took her, you know, he him as a pillion. I took him to the petrol pump so that you know he could have his first fuel up so I uh, when I just went into the petrol pump I, I asked him to put regular petrol not speed but he insist, insisted on speed see that's what I want to talk about does your bike need a higher octane petrol is a higher octane petrol good for you what type of fuel should you put in your bike? These are the questions that I want to discuss today. So basically, that is illegal. Damas. Dangerous, da. That is. Yeah, so the type of fuel you should uh, put in your vehicle is determined the type by, by the type of the bike you have. Okay? On a Pulsar 220, it is not necessary that you should put a high octane fuel. It's not a vehicle with a higher compression ratio or it's not a very high power producing vehicle. It only produces somewhere about 20 to 21 bhp on paper. I don't know how much in real life, probably 20, 19, 20-ish. So, Jesus Christ. Yeah. So it is not necessary that you should put, I mean, it, you can put speed in it, there is no harm in it, but it's not necessary that you should spend that much extra money on it. Better fuel, what the fuck? Better fuel does not guarantee better performance or better power. See, if you are having 100 horsepower on your bike, okay, let us say you are having 100 horsepower on your bike, okay. If you put the regular petrol, you probably get about, let us say, like if you get 90, okay, 90 brake horsepower, you know, on a regular petrol. If you put speed, if that vehicle is, uh, the capacity of the vehicle, you know, is enough to produce 100 horsepower. If that vehicle, you know, is capable of producing 100 horsepower, if you put speed, it will produce 100 horsepower. But on a machine like a Pulsar 220 or an Apache 180 or a 160 or a 200 NS or you know any other motorcycle you know if the vehicle can produce 25 horsepower let us say you know let us say on a Duke 200 25 horsepower huh? that is what it produces so on, on paper mm, so if duke 200 can produce 25 horsepower on a regular petrol it's not that's it's not going to produce 30 or 40 horsepower on speed because it has reached its maximum capacity of power production so there's a point i'm getting to is if you're riding a bike that does not need or the manual says that uh, RON R O N that is research octane na, oct octane number R O N that's the number which you grade a petrol with this ordinary petrol you get in India uh, is anywhere between RON that is R O N 95 to 90 uh, 94 to 95 host, uh, I mean, sorry uh, research octane number petrol uh, octane petrol okay so if your manual specifically says RON 98 RON 98 98 okay that is a higher performance petrol that is speed petrol if your booklet says that only use the petrol otherwise it's just waste of money oh 
Jesus Christ Might is right on Indian roads Look at this dumbass I can't blame him the bus is oncoming is gonna hit him if he stands any close to it so yeah uh, yeah so the thing is that if your booklet says if your user manual of your bike says put a higher performance or a higher grade petrol use it otherwise just don't waste the money I mean you will be simply wasting a lot of money on petrol because uh, in Kerala uh, in Arnagulam right the normal petrol is costing close to 66 rupees and uh, and a speed petrol is costing close to 68 rupees there is a huge difference 2 rupees difference is there Well, 2 rupees might not say, seem uh, very much, but when you fill your vehicle multiple times, all that small amount, you know, 2 rupees is gonna keep on gathering up, gathering up, gathering up, gathering up, and it's gonna turn into a huge amount at the end of the day. Not the day, but, you know, like in a day, but just jump out in front of the vehicle, idiot. Yeah, so at the end of the day, the cost, end of the month, if you are filling it monthly, right, you will end up spending close to, uh, if you are uh, a regular filler like me, I put my petrol regularly because I had to travel to college, I had to come back, I had to go there, I got a vlog, you know, I had to travel to different places, so I fill up regularly and at the end of the month, you will find a difference close to 200 rupees if you the difference between speed and regular petrol 200 if you're very rich 200 might not seem uh, you know or if your vehicle is not giving a good mileage 200 rupees worth of petrol might not seem like big but for a vehicle like apache you know that gives about 35 kilometers to the liter 200 rupees worth of fuel will get me somewhere about 60 to 65 kilometers or 70 kilometers on the highway you know for 200 rupees I'll be able to travel that much so it is a huge difference for a small uh, small output producing bike like this so that's basically it guys the only thing I have to say is that if your manual the Duke 390 manual says 98 I believe not sure or don't sure, or sure about that don't quote me on that what the f hell dude don't quote me on that I think Duke 390's uh, manual says uh, 98 octane petrol if it says 98 octane petrol put it otherwise it's just a waste of money so that's it uh, well that's it for this vlog I guess yeah that's it for this vlog guys uh, thank you for watching guys do leave a thumbs up if you like this video subscribe to my channel if you have any more questions Drop a comment in the comment section below. Uh, so drop a comment in the comment section below if you have any extra questions or anything. Uh, I will reply to that uh, as soon as I see that message. So that's it guys. Thank you for watching again. Bye bye. Take care. Ride safe.